the jet drive installed uh, that is in there now and another neat thing happened that right there is that steering cable and this will go that way and that'll go that way it does it up there too hold on ready watch I'm gonna zoom in <laughs> I did a little piece of aluminum bracketry there drilled and tapped it threaded it on there now that's lock nutted on there so that's that side of that. Then the cable runs through the hull. I'll pop this open so you can see here. Oh God, almost fell over and died. Comes out of the hull there, wraps around up underneath here, all the way through. I punched through the foam and then came out on this side. I got a little grommet action going on there. Came up underneath the rub rail, all the way around underneath here, another little grommet comes around and then all I did was clamped this sucker down in there real tight and that thing just hangs out in there now. So that is going to be our steering. Well, I burned up a Milwaukee. This one's done shot. And if I was sponsored by Milwaukee then I'd have a new one for free, but I'm not. So I went and bought one. So. We're gonna finish that stupid hole now, if nobody minds. Oh, she's a beaut. Oh, she just fits so nice.
Well, there's still just so much to do, but but we've decided to uh, ignore all those things. Um, and paint, paint is the next logical step. Yeah, next logical step, even though I still have welding to do, is paint. So we're going to do that. You don't have any welding. Yeah, no, no, you don't need to worry about any of that. It It'll be up. fine. So we're just going to paint it. So, yeah, all right, well... You're not going to listen to us talk about painting the whole time, so I'll probably just do one of them time-lapse sealies. But I suppose the video will, uh, will show that. So, there we go. That smells like paint. Is it paint? Yep. Actually, as seen on TV, <laughs> Flex Seal. So we're not actually like building a boat out of it. No, but like I mean, in the ad. Yeah, but I mean, kinda. I mean, we're not super confident in the abilities of this boat to float. So we're just gonna do everything that we can to make sure that it floats, kind of. And that's gonna be flex seal all up in there and all back through here and in the engine bay. So yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. You'll see. Right, well, we got a coat of Flex Seal inside the boat now, and it looks terrible. So that's good. It's gonna float so, it's well. Gonna float so well. It's floating my boat. It's really, it's getting getting the girts going on the gooses on the galley there. So now we're gonna do this part here. So we're gonna clean that out and do the same. So. Your cousin's here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cool. What are you doing now? Flex seal in the back? Not the fiberglass. Probably Mostly. yes to the foam just to make it pretty-ish. Yeah, because right now it kind of looks and like I don't vomit. think on this wall. No, I don't think that wall either. We learned a bunch of pirate songs to sing while we're on the boat. Yeah. Are there a bunch of pirate songs to learn? Yeah, they're always singing them in those pirate movies. What pirate movies? Uh, pirates of the uh, rum drinks, Caribbean. They didn't sing not one single song in that movie, not one. They absolutely not did. one single song did they sing, not one. I guarantee you. Mm, okay, well, I guarantee you're wrong. No, I don't think so either. If I'm being honest. Yeah, it's not super thrilled about it. But I think it's just going to be okay. Oh my, it's yeah, it's kind of arguing with us about that, huh? It'll be okay. Okay, well, the rest can go in the front. <laughs> Quite flexed, maybe partially sealed. That's all she wrote for the flexible sealant. Good catch. That'll f the paint up. Swish. Nail it. We went to the store and just picked up the shittiest blue we could find, so we ended up with this uh, gloss Bahama Sea. And so we're gonna go and do the top of it with that. Below. Oh yeah, as always. So if you want some crayon paint, you can find them in the description below. Um, so we're gonna paint probably down to the this little line here, and then we'll fade it into a little bit of white action, and it should be pretty good.
right there. Can you hit that spot right there? You're an ass. <laughs> That's the... Oh, damn it. Okay, I deserve that. Let me fix it for you. Wait for it to dry. Yeah, who cares? It'll be fine. She's a beaut. Look at this. She's looking saucy and glossy. You know what? I was about as skeptical as I could be with this color in the store. But seeing it on the boat, now, I'm just like, just as skeptical as I was in the store. She's being a real wife trying to figure out where to get dinner a lot of Right, you know, I just couldn't figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. But I think with that gray uh, foam on the top, it's gonna really bring it together. Oh, he's got a Sharpie. That's good. like to brag about this tool for a second because this thing is sweet can you what is this rib nut gun tool so we thread on the rib nut okay right yep now we find our hole okay and it's just it. now it's in there so this is a quarter inch by 20 basically a riveted threaded insert that squeezes in and he just cycles these things in there and this is how we're attaching the UHMW plastic to the bottom of the boat. And then we'll go all around these with sealant and seal the shit out of it and uh, should be good. So we got a couple more to pop in there and then this plastic is on and we're just about done with, with the plastic. We're figuring it out here. This is looking good. This is looking sharp. This other side's all set up. Looks pretty good. We'll fill all these cracks in with a little bit of a MP1. Drop a couple riv nuts in the spots that are a little bulgy. Bulgy like a moose. I think we'll be good. I think we're gonna be good. It's just such a quick, easy process to suck that thing in there. Is that one gonna go? It should. Nope. No? Nope. Okay, hit it with the grinder. Stand by.
connected. Yeah. It's a weird dance. All right, go ahead and set it on your front there. And up too far, man. There you go. Okay. Oh, I have you one a little bit extra there. Then. That's okay. Just steer it. Yeah, we'll we'll run that. It'll it'll run. That one's never ever coming out. <laughs> ever. Well, with MP1, it's no. It's like Loctite, but, you know, dumb. You guys do look really cool with, with your sunglasses on your head. Oh, yeah. Well, they're safety glasses because I don't know what I did with my clears. At night. Well, you know, Gary, around here we specify safety four, so. <laughs> That's it. It is all across the bottom. We are completely skid plated. I'm going to caulk all these seams with MP1 to get all the edges locked in tight. And I think we are good to go on the bottom of this boat. <laughs> this thing's spicy. All right, Ant. Thanks for your help, buddy. We'll see you. Bye, buddy. Maybe I play hook tomorrow. We just go to rock white in the morning. Yeah. And then we come get it done, flip it, and work on it. And, and wire it. Water. We could get it wired tomorrow. Let's do it. We'll see you tomorrow, buddy.